Good evening and welcome to First Church. Come in, come in, there's plenty of room. I didn't used to think so, but we learned there is always room for more. Oh, I'm the innkeeper, and I have a part in the story we are about to tell. It's quite an amazing story with shepherds and angels and wise men and a baby, but I'm getting ahead of myself. First, let us prepare our hearts for worship. We will sing together and pray, and then we'll tell the incredible story. Again, welcome. Come, the word is out, a child is born. Let us go to Bethlehem. Come, the angels sang, do not be afraid. Let us go to Bethlehem. Come, the shepherds know the world will change. Let us go to Bethlehem. Come, prepare to greet the Prince of Peace. Let us go to Bethlehem. candle for Christ because the world is broken and the waiting is long but Christ is with us through it all in a humble manger in a backwater town a baby was born and in every heart and every home where there is peace hope love and joy 
Christ is with us still. Glory to God in heaven, she whispers, and peace to all on earth. So we light one candle because Christ is with us. Christmas Eve scripture reading comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verses 46 through 56. Mary praises God. Mary said, with all my heart I glorify the Lord. In the depth of who I am, I rejoice in God my Savior. He has looked with favor on the low status of his servant. Look, from now on, everyone will consider me highly favored because the Mighty One has done great things for me. Holy is His name. 
He shows mercy to everyone from one generation to the next who honors him as God. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered those with arrogant thoughts and proud inclinations. He has pulled the powerful down from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty-handed. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel, remembering his mercy, just as promised to our ancestors, to Abraham and Abraham's descendants forever. Mary stayed with Elizabeth about three months and then returned to her home. These are holy words. Thanks be to God. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas and welcome to First Church of Christ in Simsbury. No matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, you are welcome here. Wherever you are watching from, whether right down the street or across town in Simsbury, or whether from Bethlehem, Connecticut, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, or the Bethlehem in the West Bank of Palestine, we are glad, glad to be together on this Christmas Eve. We are excited for this very special service of worship as we experience the story of Jesus' birth through larger-than-life rod puppets, a unique and time-honored tradition here at First Church, Simsbury. We extend a special thanks to all our volunteers this evening, and especially to our directors, Kelsey Beach and Jessica Wolanin, for all the hard work and dedication that has gone into making this service possible. Tonight, as we celebrate the good news of Jesus' birth, may we encounter God's love and light bursting into our lives and world once again. We have now approached the time in our worship to give of our gifts and offering. This evening, a portion of the offering collected will support the ongoing ministries of First Church, which shine the light of Christ within our community and within the world. Another portion will support the Christmas Fund, a special mission of the United Church of Christ that supports the United Church of Christ clergy and lay employees who are facing difficult financial situations. When the shepherds heard the good news announced by the angels, they responded by going to see God's great gift of Jesus and by glorifying and praising God. In the same way, let us respond to the amazing things God is doing in our lives by giving of our gifts and offerings. Let us breathe. 
In the beginning, God created human life and promised to send a savior. During the next 4,000 years, God often repeated this promise through prophets. One such prophet was Jeremiah, who spoke of the coming of Christ. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will fulfill the promise I made to the house of Judah. The prophet Isaiah also described the coming of the Savior. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God is with us. Seven hundred years after Isaiah spoke his prophecy, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a virgin whose name was Mary. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you shall conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son, and the child shall be called Jesus. He shall be great and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And Mary said, My heart praises the Lord. My soul is glad because of God, my Savior, for he has remembered me, a lowly servant. From now on, all people will call me blessed because of the great things the mighty God has done for me. And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the entire world should be taxed, and all went to be taxed, each to his own city. And Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, who was expecting a child.
Night had fallen as Mary and Joseph approached the inns of Bethlehem. Joseph knocked at the door of the first inn. But the innkeeper shouted, No room at this inn, and he waved them away. Joseph and Mary knocked at the second door. But the innkeeper shouted, No room at this inn, and he waved them away. Joseph and Mary knocked at the third door. But the innkeeper shouted, No room at this inn, and he waved them away. Many inns were visited by Mary and Joseph, but because of the crowd in the city, no room was found, until one innkeeper, feeling sorry for them, said, I too have no room in my inn, but you are welcome to sleep in my stable where I keep my animals. I have a stall that is clean, and there is fresh hay to sleep on. Joseph looked at Mary, and she agreed to accept his invitation, though she was not too excited about giving birth to her little baby in a stable. She was too tired to look anymore. And while they were there, the time came for Mary's baby to be delivered. That night she gave birth to her firstborn child, wrapped him in swaddling cloths, and laid him in a manger, a humble birth for the blessed Christ child. the same country, shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. The whole world was quiet except for the gentle stirrings of the sheep. Thank you. 
And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round them, and they were afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day, in the city of David, a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling cloths, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was, with the angel, a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the in highest and, and on earth. Peace, goodwill, goodwill toward all. all. And when the angels had gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go into Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary, Joseph, and the babe lying in a manger.
Later, the shepherds would go out and tell the people of Bethlehem what had happened and make known to all everything that the angels had told them concerning the child. The star came to rest above the stable. When they saw the child with Mary, his mother, they knelt and worshipped him. Then, opening their treasures, they offered him special gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The hearts of the wise men were filled with joy, for they knew they had at last found their Savior, the one who brought peace, hope, love, and joy for all of God's people. Over two centuries later, we retell this wonderful story of when God came to us as a little baby. The story of angels and shepherds, mighty magi and lowly animals, a young mother and a gift of God. And the simple retelling rings in our hearts as it did that first night. For the message does not change, but the message of God's great love continues to change hearts. So with spirits renewed, let us welcome the great, glad, good news of the Christ child's birth into our hearts on this beautiful, still, and holy night.
when the song of the angels is stilled, when the star in the sky is gone, when the kings and princes are home, when the shepherds are back with their flock, the work of Christmas begins. To find the lost, to heal the broken, to feed the hungry, to release the prisoner, to rebuild the nations, to bring peace among sisters and brothers, to make music in the heart. God is with us. Joy to the world. 